A patient today asked about melatonin and its use for their insomnia. Um, melatonin is a substance secreted by, pine by the pineal gland um, and when taken exogenously in pill form, whether it's by taking melatonin that you can pick up over the counter at your local pharmacy or by taking a medication like Rosarum or Romeltion, um, which also is a melatonin receptor agonist, it can help with sleep onset. So it's not a very potent medication but it can help with help an individual to fall asleep, but it really has not been shown um, in studies to um, uh, really improve the duration of someone's sleep during the course of the night. Um, doses are usually about one to five milligrams or so. I usually recommend to patients not taking more than five or six milligrams at night because it's really not, there's really not clear evidence that taking more than five or six milligrams has any additional benefit. And yet you can go to a uh, a pharmacy or a supplement store and buy 10 milligrams or 20 milligram pills for um, with high price tags. I, I really think you're just paying um, for something that's really not giving you any additional benefit. But for some individuals, one to five milligrams an hour to hour to two before bed can be helpful with sleep onset, but typically not sleep duration. Uh, melatonin does have side effects and, and it is a prescribed medication in other in other countries. And so uh, side effects could include um, vivid dreams, dizziness, lightheadedness, upset stomach. Um, and then some people could certainly have an allergic reaction to the medication or the filler in the pill or the coating in the pill, um, et cetera. And so um, just like with any medication or any supplement, it is important to note that there can be negative side effects. Something else to consider is that long-term safety of using melatonin or using melatonin every night for a long period of time has really not been shown. And so we do not know um, whether this really is a, a, as safe as a medic of a medication as people may assume that it is to be taken um, long-term. I'm always gonna recommend that you're um, keeping up with good sleep hygiene techniques and behaviors because for many individuals, if you are uh, keeping up with good sleep hygiene, keeping good routines and schedules, avoiding nicotine, caffeine, um, alcohol, and uh, you know, exercising during the day and not taking naps, etc. You may not need to take any supplement or any medication for sleep. But for individuals who do, that's a little bit of information about melatonin. If you believe this video pertains to you in any way, please be sure to discuss it with a mental health or medical professional. The information in these videos is informative only and not meant to be medical advice.